One more, uh, Brett Cooper, the Predators are not even hiding it from, from Brett. Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. I just want to put it out there right away. We are dealing with a heavier subject today. We're going to be talking about pedophilia, some porn stuff. So just know if you have kids around or if you are a young person, if you don't want to watch that, totally fine. Just letting you know right from the get-go. Now I have talked about pedophilia and grooming before quite often because it is very prevalent in our current society. I've also talked about how our culture the is increasingly agenda. promoting and normalizing the yep, sex- Yep, yep, Brett is based! The next step of the woke agenda is to normalize pedophilia. Sexualization of children, whether that be, you know, teachers showing middle schoolers how to put in butt plugs and use dildos and use lube, or whether it's California changing their laws so that not every adult that has sex with a child has to be on the sex offender list, all of that. But this is something that impacts every single one of us. This hits closer to home, like literally. This is what is happening on social media. But before we get into it, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you've not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. I also just wanna say, because this is a heavier subject, I'm just so appreciative of everybody who is here every single day and takes time out of their life to watch these videos. I know that a lot of these subjects are not fun, they are not lighthearted, but I appreciate how genuine and vulnerable you are in the comments and how you, you, know, you rally behind people, and I just appreciate it. And it gives me hope because sometimes I put together these episodes and I'm like oh my god like not again so anyway thank you for still being here and sticking with me because this one is a doozy so I saw this viral video yes that's some white people who, that's this one's a doozy who says doozy yesterday and it made me want to create this episode so let's just start there because I watched it with no context so I'm just going to introduce you to this man and to this story I accidentally found a child corn ring and corn. have not been okay since I have not wanted to make this post, but I need to make this post to let you all know what's going on. Recently, I- Ugh, look at how the woke people always victimize themselves. I didn't want to do it, but I am doing it, and I put on a brave face, and it's so hard, and I'm doing something that's really difficult by recording a TikTok. Shut up. I started doing a series where I show the faces and names and what grown men are saying on children's posts across the internet. And I was tagged on a little girl's post who was nine years old and lives in Ukraine. I went into the comment section to see what I knew I would unfortunately find. And it led me to a link. And that link led me to a site that specifically stated five to 17 year olds. I was not prepared for what I found and it was heartbreaking and it messed me up pretty badly. I was able to do what I needed to, to be baseline okay um the night i found this and then watch it be me on omegle <laughs> the next morning had a complete breakdown i spoke to the proper authorities and reported all the names and usernames and comments that i had found along with the different links because it was more than one since i started doing this series last year i have been inundated with thousands of people sharing their traumatic stories with me while I am incredibly grateful for the trust that many of you feel with me, this has been incredibly hard to sit and look at and process. And my sunshine Get to the point. has not been as bright recently. Oh, shut the fuck I up. I feel an incredible the sunshine has not been as rewriting a poem. Amount of pressure to keep going and keep doing this. And I want to, and I will. I need my mental health. But I need a break. I need a break from all of the trauma especially as I sit in my own, as the ASA oh has come out. There are many things behind yeah. the scenes offline that I don't share with all of you for my own protection. What the fuck is the point? And for many of yours. Um, and I just want to say thank you for being in this love army. Thank you for trusting me with your stories. Thank you for wanting to- Thank you for- I'm wearing a sunshine sweater. Bro, you, you look like Superman, man. You should you get, get a hold of yourself, bro. Be a part of this- global shift that we need why does brett look more masculine than you that has been long overdue but right now i need to take a little bit of a break and shift to a little bit lighter content because this is not sustainable at the rate that i am going Ugh. i feel like i am disappointing much and letting many of you down and i don't want that but i need to be honest about this and regain some of that sunshine so i can come back even brighter get to the Fucking point, bro. And more fierce than before. I love you all. Thank you for your trust. So I had never seen any of his videos before, but I watched this and obviously like 
stopped in my tracks for so many reasons. Obviously, because it started off strong talking about child pornography and the prevalence of it. And that is something that I've talked about. Whoa! Whoa! Feej, Feej, 500, became a multimillionaire this year and it's frustrating. How do I find people to trust regarding financial advice and planning? Having money like this is so foreign to me and I'm so lost right now. Bro, get a, bro hit a crypto pump and doesn't know who to be around. Bumba club, bro. Thank you a lot, Feej, Feej. You have to find other people who will make a lot of money. And I think you find those people online. I think that you could find people, a lot of people around you are not going to be able to understand how much money to have like this. And... I would try to find, if you found it through crypto, I would find crypto communities. If you found it through content creation, I would find a content creation community and, uh, and talk to people like that. Uh, financial advice and planning. Right now, what you need to do is get a good lawyer ASAP, get a good accountant ASAP and start planning your taxes ASAP. Tax season is coming up and the IRS is gonna fuck you if you don't do it properly. Um, join a, a community online that, that you could talk to people and just be careful how much you really share the information about what you did. Um, if people in your real life found out that you hit a crypto pump that big, which is probably how you got this money, then they're going to go want to get a piece of the pie. So be careful, man. Be careful who you trust. And bro, the stream's on you, man. Weege, Weege in the chat. Appreciate you big time, Brody. Out Before, it is incredibly dangerous. It is sickening. There's really not enough words to describe how awful that is and the fact that we live in a world right now that protects people who engage in that behavior that watch that kind of content, that we have allowed our society to get to a point where that is okay, where we ignore the, the warning signs, all of that. So obviously that stopped me in my tracks. And then I just felt for him and his response to all of this. And I think that I, you know, I feel this at kind of a different, you know, level and kind of a different industry and sphere. But like I was on Twitter this morning and I saw something that Libs of TikTok had posted. I think I'm gonna do an episode about it next week. But like, I've seen a lot of, really really dark disgusting stuff and some of it you know i insert into an episode some of it i don't because i don't really think it's you know the right tone and might not be beneficial for the world to see but that i'm you know consuming people send to me and every once in a while i will have something that gives me like a physical reaction and that was what happened this morning and it, i mean it takes like a mental emotional physical toll on your body when you are consuming these kinds of things when you see what the world really is like when you pull back all the layers and so i feel for him because he's, he's reached his breaking point. And that is why I, you know, I work so hard to make sure that I, you know, have the right kind of work-life balance and that I am able to turn off my phone and turn off these social media platforms. You know, I can do it in work hours because there is a lot of really, really Bar dark, shit. disgusting shit out there, Bar especially out there. involving children, which is something that I wish we could come together on. And, you know, he talked about having a global shift and I hope that that is happening. I truly do. Because this cannot be political anymore. This cannot be one side against the other talking about. This is an entire generation that we need to protect. And I feel like I'm making all these grandiose statements, but this is a huge freaking deal. Like, there's no other way to put it. Anyway, that is why this video stopped me in my tracks. And obviously, we need a little bit more context. So we're going to watch the video that sparked all of this and sparked that reaction from him. Here we go. So this is in the similar format that he does his other videos, where he goes through, he finds, you know, you know a child's post. There really is a lot of fucked up shit about kids on the internet chat. Um, speaking with Ryan Dawson, like in seeing his reaction to telling me what's really going on, it was mind blowing. And I don't even really want to go down. I believe it. I believe it. I, obviously, I, I have ideas and I know a lot of stuff they do, but I, I don't need to see it with my own eyes to, to know that they do some fucked up shit. And then he screenshots a disgusting creepo man's comment, flashes his name and his photo for everybody to see. So it's this. However, it's a porn site. Whoa, on TikTok? Yo, ban TikTok. What the fuck? So these are all of the men who led him to this site. TikTok is a, a a child corn funnel? Absolutely not.
All right, Chad, now I feel bad about roasting this dude a lot earlier. What? Hello, Ekman! I mean, it's disgusting. And I'm grateful he did not show the site or anything like that. So basically, like I said, he was doing his normal thing, going through, looking at all these comments. And these are the men who led him to this site where child pornography was. And obviously, I'm sure that is not the only site. There's so much, again, dark, disgusting crap on the internet. I mean, you look at- Yeah, Chad, you're right. This is Instagram Reels, and also there's a big funnel of that on Twitter as well. You're right, you're right. Those pictures of those men. And you know, some of them seemed totally normal. Like guys you would bump into at a coffee shop, or no. And this man is awesome for what he does. Like this is far from his first video. Like I said, this is a whole series. He exposes these predators, and this is probably his biggest expose yet because it's not just individual people, it is an entire site. And the comments were heartbreaking. Like one girl, Nikki, said, no one spoke up for me, please keep speaking. I think those are the comments he was talking about because there were so many women saying like, this happened to me, please keep going. Like we need to, we need to change people's perspective about this. We need to spread awareness. And obviously I'm sure that that gets really overwhelming. Another woman said, every day I realize that I live in a bubble and it gets popular by TikTok, I don't know this world. I also see a lot of this in my comments and in a way it makes me feel guilty and maybe it shouldn't, but I'll see people- Top brother says, my girl as keeps asking, what if I do if our kid was trans? what you think? Say no. We'll go, you know, like, that's I simple. didn't know this. Like, oh, it feels so awful. And you know, Bro, patient. I don't want to yeah, be that person that's like shining a light on all the worst things in the world. And I try to have lighthearted stuff. That's why I do off the clock. That's why I try to, you know, laugh about things and we insert memes and that sort of thing. But. Like there is a lot of terrible, terrible stuff in the world. And if you are living with like blinders over your eyes, like I don't think that that is the best way to live. It might be more comfortable. It might be easier, Ignorance but you're bliss. vulnerable. You should not feel vulnerable in this world. You need to be empowered and know about these things so that you can try to stop it, so that you can protect your children, so you can protect yourself. Knowledge is empowerment. It's allowing you to be self-reliant. And so I hope that it's beneficial, you know, and, and it looks like it is, especially with this man's comments. And so I don't know, it's just that comment spoke out to me because I was like, oh, I see this in my comment section too. And one thing that I think is important about, you know, him and the work that he does is that he's not like some political guy. He's not a right winger. All right, try it. I'll, I'll check out Cozy. I'll check out Cozy's stream. I get it, Groypers. Let's see. To say, hey, what are we doing? So I had to jump in one thing and I'm like, hey, we need some new ideas over here. I was kind of like a jerk, but sometimes you need to, sometimes you need to get the attitude out. And then I jumped in this other thing. I'm reading through the script and I'm like, this is- Okay, I'll watch this later. He's gay and you know, he is diligently going after these disgusting predators. And like, that is how it should be. And so many people try to paint this issue as it's just, you know, conservatives and alt-right people going after the LGBTQ community. That's not what is actually happening. And that's not how it should be. This should not be a divisive issue. Everybody should be talking about this. This cannot be a left or right or gay or straight issue. And so many people make it sure. that. And I think it's easy to do so because the majority- yeah, calling out child predators is a right-wing issue now. If people talking about this are on the right, it is conservatives, which is fine. I'm glad we're a part of that. So it's easy for the left to say, you know, you're escalating it, you're pointing it out, you're projecting, this is all you, and you're, you know, you're making the LGBTQ community seem awful. It's like, no, we just happen to be the people talking about it most of the time. And you are the people protecting many of the perpetrators. Like if a gay teacher is showing his students still those, I'm gonna have a freaking problem. If a straight teacher is showing his student still those, we're also gonna have a freaking problem. This is not a two-sided issue. Anyway, this also reminded me of a great video that Amala from PragerU did last week. She posted it. This one is more directed towards Instagram. And I think that that guy had some Instagram comments, but they were, you know, really TikTok centric, but just watch this from Amala. It was really great. Something so gross is happening on Instagram. Shout out to this creator for pointing it out. Do not put your kids on the internet. The creator that I mentioned noticed that she was getting videos like this on her Explore page of child- By the way, I just realized I did a, I did a collab with her a long time ago and she still didn't even post it. ...with millions of views and hundreds of thousands of likes. Upon looking into some of these accounts, I found that there are hundreds of them and they are followed almost exclusively by grown men. Also, each of the accounts is engaging in promotion and commenting on other child model accounts. And when I tell you that there are hundreds of these, I mean there are hundreds of these. Why, bro, these parents need to be stoned, for real. Like, why are you making child model accounts for your... Ch like, what the fuck is you... It's Making an Instagram page for your kid to model is just the, the worst parenting I've seen and the, I think the parents should go to jail for allowing them that. are following hundreds if not thousands of other young girls and boys. Some of the men who follow these accounts are even in the comments asking to trade other child content that they have with other men who follow these accounts. 
Here are the accounts that one man is following, and this is barely any- Bro, imagine being that public about it because it's all allowed on Instagram. Thing, considering he's following nearly 3,000. Online predators are very real and very active. Shame on the parents and adults who are exploiting their children to make these accounts. This Chad, WRL, the parents that let their kids make an Instagram page for men to look at, they should be stoned by Abdul and Ahmed in a little box on the floor. This is disgusting. I mean, these people are sick. There's no other way to put it. Uh, this is the original video from the creator that Amala referenced. This is so far from my usual content, but I couldn't go about my day without talking about this. So I went on my explore page last night and I noticed I started getting baby videos, which weird. I thought was weird because I don't have kids. I've never looked up a children's product or anything. So I refreshed my feed thinking it was an accident and I kept getting these kid videos. So I went onto one of these pages and realized that it is full of videos of all these different kids with millions and millions of views. And in these videos, all the kids are dolled up with makeup on, filters, but what I found so odd is pretty much every audio to these videos is a sexual thirst trap sound. So I was like, who is the dynamic for these videos? How are they getting millions and millions of views? I decided to see who was commenting on these videos. Hundreds of shameless in the comments of these videos of the pedophiles. Not only that, but when you go onto these men's profiles, they are following hundreds of these toddler oh. accounts and these pages know oh about it and continue to post these children not only that, it makes the money look at some of the kids faces in these videos they look kids miserable these videos do not look happy to be there they look scared there are thousands of these children accounts promoting and profiting off of literally in front of our faces <laughs> At this point, with audios like Tiger, Taste, Bruh. and The Weeknd, cannot tell me these people aren't promoting this. These kids are in danger, and it's not only the people that are seeking them out anymore. They are literally promoting this on my Explore page. It's so proof. I, I say it all the time, but look, if you're not monetizing social media, you're just going to become corrupted by it. It's going to ruin you. It makes you soulless. It makes you involved in garbage. You have to find a way to spread some positivity and make money on it. If you're scrolling, you're going to end up like a fucking middle-aged dad commenting on child model accounts for the love of god will people stop trying to make their babies instagram famous i think that that last part is a really really important point because it is not just these model accounts and a lot of them are kind of like eastern european and they're like these beautiful like you know blonde haired blue-eyed girls and like that sort of thing and they're all like she said very dolled up but i see these types of comments on family tiktok accounts where they're just posting pictures of their babies and maybe it's, you know, their daughter, you know, twirling in a dress and it's a harmless, wholesome audio. Maybe the parents are laughing in the background. Like that is still feeding into it. There are still creepos. Actually, instead of rocks, let's get some boulders. On your page, saving the videos. Why, why is anybody saving a video of your child? Why? <laughs> you can see that on TikTok. How many people save it, favorite it? Why are so many grown men doing that? It is not just these accounts that are leaning into it. It is everywhere now. It, it's so dangerous. Somebody also commented and said, wait until you see the gymnastics accounts. Those made me want to delete everything. Disgusting. Like child gymnastics in the leotards? Absolutely And you not. think that Instagram and TikTok, do you think that they're not aware of this? They know it's happening. They're well aware that this is going on. That's why they put it on the explore page. Somebody else said, one thing I never hear people talk about is Pinterest is full of pedos. I am constantly followed by old men pitting children in bathing suits. It is sick. It is everywhere. When I say that this is a cultural, a broad social problem, this is what I mean. This is why and, you know, we can mad talk at Kim about for posting his kiddos on TikToks. Yeah, that's exactly why. Because look, you're, you're showing your kids dancing and you know making them look good with filters and everything for for who? It's not just for like mindless entertainment. There's a everybody in the internet can see it, and there's a lot of weird people who go to the internet to find it. You know Hollywood and how they feed into it, and you know pedophile rings and that sort of thing. And obviously that is probably happening. I have not looked too much into it, but I know a lot of people believe that and talk about it. But I think the more important thing is that it is happening every single day on our phones, on our explore pages, to people we know, to children we know. It's not just elites. This is like a ground up thing now. It's horrifying. The lesson here today is get your kids off the internet. Like, I'm not talking about the, you know, the occasional post, you know, when they're a baby or like a family photo. Not at all. I'm not saying you need to hide them forever. Hide them from the internet. Fuck that. There's no reason that you need to show it on the internet. I'm talking about the constant posting and parents turning their children into like mini social media brands and using them as like an accessory for clout. This world is sickening. 
it is not safe for children anymore and social media just makes it worse. This is not a political left or right issue. This is literally for the sake of the next generation who are already screwed because of the things going on in our culture and the fact that they are growing up in like a totally digital age with all of this polarization. They are already, you know, not growing up at the best times. And with the- Okay, enough, yeah, I mean. <laughs> That's, That's it. That's your job.